What's up guys, my name is Kenta and in this video we're going to teach you how to clean your rock climbing shoes once and for all. Now if your rock climbing shoes are filthy and they have a smell, don't be embarrassed, you came to the right place. Now based on my research, there's really two methods that I want to try in this video. Method number one is the baking soda method. Method number two is the machine wash method. Now I have three pairs of rock climbing shoes here. They're all really filthy and they have an odor. So I'm going to try both methods and then on the third pair, I'm going to try both and see if there's a significant difference. Now I'm also going to be pre-washing all three pairs of climbing shoes using room temperature water and a toothbrush just so I can get most of the dirt off. And I'm also going to be taking before and after photos so you can see the results. And luckily for you guys, there's really no way to translate odor. So you're going to just have to trust my sense of smell. Now it's important that you pre-wash your climbing shoes before you use the baking soda or the machine wash method in order for you to get the first layer of dirt off and so that when you do use the methods that it penetrates deeper into the material of your shoes. Um, another thing that I want to mention is that I'm going to be using room temperature water. You don't want to be using hot or scalding hot water on your climbing shoes because you don't want to deteriorate the glue that's holding together your shoes. I just got these Squamas back um, resold and I don't want to ruin um, their, their work there. So I'm going to be using lukewarm water and just going to be using this toothbrush to clean them out just to get that dirt out. Now, like I said, these things are absolutely filthy, so... Viewer discretion advised. Alright, these guys are pre-washed. I'm going to move on to the 510 moccasins. Now, both the squamas and these moccasins, I took outdoors and I used in the gym. So they're both, generally both more, more filthy than the um, Scarpas that I use in the gym. These these I've only used in indoor, so I'm gonna save these for last. Alrighty, so I have now pre-washed both pairs of shoes. And I'm going to move on to the baking soda method on my squamas. So the baking soda method is pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to get our regular household baking soda. We're going to get a cup. We're going to fill some baking soda in the cup, mix some water in there, mix it up until we get a viscous consistency that we can lather all over our shoes. We're going to let the shoes dry for a day or two. And then once they're dried, we're going to rinse them off, and then let them air dry next to a fan. with the washing machine method, once you've pre-washed your rock climbing shoes and you're ready to go, all you gotta do is get one of your favorite laundry detergents, throw that in. I have my washing machine set on the cold setting because the warm setting sometimes gets too hot. I've seen in another video, someone used the warm setting and said that worked great for them. So, you know, use your discretion 
and then basically just let the washing machine do its job. Now I'm gonna pour a little bit of the detergent into the shoe. Um, you don't have to, but I just figured might as well just get it in there, get it on there. All right, good to go. And then, like I said, I have it on the cold setting. I'll have it in normal and then medium soil. And then, yep, get this going. It should be good to go. What's up guys? So it's been a couple of days and I've let these shoes air dry now. And the results from these shoes is that the washing machine method works really well. They look really clean and also they don't have pretty much any smell uh, versus the baking soda method shoes. Um, obviously I haven't rinsed them off yet, but they still have a bit of a, an odor. And what I'm thinking is I'm going to rinse these off and then I'm just gonna toss these in the washing machine and see if there's some improvement. And I'll check in, uh, check back in with you guys in a bit. So quick update, actually, I just rinsed these off and I just wanted to mention that after rinsing them off, there is uh, not much of a smell. So I'm wondering if maybe the baking soda trapped some of the odor and after washing it off, it maybe uh, pulled some of that odor out. I'm gonna go ahead and still throw these in the washing machine and um, give it that little extra layer, so. What's up guys? So it's been a few days since I've let my shoes fully air dry and the results are in. The washing machine method is definitely my favorite method, especially if you're looking for something quick and efficient. Nothing really beats throwing your shoes in with some laundry detergent and hitting the start button. One thing that I will mention though is that uh, if you do have shoes that have any sort of metal on them, I would put them in a pillowcase or something with cloth just to protect that metal on metal. I did see some paint chipping on here. Um, and now with the baking soda method, I think it's a great method in combination with the washing machine method, especially if you're looking for that deep penetration in the dirt and smell. Uh, these shoes are a lot cleaner than they were before and they don't have as much of a smell. So I will be using the combination of both methods for my Scarpa Instincts. And if you stuck around to the end of this video, I have another tip for you guys. Now, I watched a video of Adam Andres where he talks about his experiences with his different rock climbing shoes. And in the video, uh, the, he does have a method he uses to get his really tight shoes on. He takes the plastic wrapping from the shoe box and wraps them, wraps them around his feet and uses them to slide into the shoes. So I started using that with my TC Pros because they're a lot smaller. And I've taken these shoes out somewhere between 20 to 30 times outdoors, long multi-pitch days, my shoes get hot, you know, my feet get you know, hot and sweaty. And what I've noticed is that these shoes, they don't have much of a smell. And you know, I think that's quite amazing. So if your feet do get a little you know, you know, sweatier than most and your, feet, your shoes tend to get more smelly, this might be a good uh, method for you guys to try out. Um, you know, especially if you're not trying to wear socks, this might be a great method and a very cheap method to do. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, leave a comment below and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace.